Hello everyone, this is Leviathan89. Welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hunter 3. It's the morning of the 18th of November 1941. Uh, the morning after our successful convoy attack. As you can see, the weather is still abysmal. Huge waves, fog, rain. It's a nightmare. And uh, we are on our way to uh, Vigo. And the plan is to uh, refuel in Vigo and uh, hopefully get some extra torpedoes. But for that to happen, the weather must improve. Because uh, if the sea is too rough, we cannot refuel. But it's still we are still more than a thousand kilometers away from Vigo, and I think or I hope that the weather will improve. You can see the uh, marks of our successful convoy attack. Um, well, let's uh, be nice to our uh, watchmen. Let them put on some uh, bad weather gear because they're still in their uh, regular uh, clothing, their regular leather jackets or officer jackets and uh, yeah that's better, that's much better now they're being a part of the watch crew in this uh, in these conditions is probably still a nightmare, but it's a little better than being... Oh! <laughs> okay. Poor watchman. Poor watch crew. Almost drowning at if, as if the bad weather wasn't enough. Well... Let's get to Vigo. I'll get back to you as soon as something interesting happens or as soon as we're there. See you then. All right. Uh, it's the morning of the 19th of November 1941. The weather has improved. As you can see, the sea is very calm. Only a few clouds left. So what we'll do now is we'll use this opportunity to reload uh, our external torpedoes because uh, that can only be done in good weather this will take a little more than two hours let's hope that uh, we're not spotted by a plane or by enemy aircraft because uh, we cannot dive, nor can we go faster than slow. So we're sitting ducks here. Let's get these um, into the torpedo compartment. And time compression. All right, we're finished. And we can go back to uh, a head standard. Our watch crew is still in bed with the gear. Let's uh, let them get their normal dress back all right we're good let's go to Vigo all right we're approaching uh, we're in Vigo we're approaching the harbor of Vigo there it is
There are some uh, quite a few Spanish ships around. Uh, I guess you cannot see them because I not ca I can't see them either because it's too dark. <laughs> um, as it should be, it's always best to refuel uh, in the dark while we're in neutral waters, um, because the Spaniards they're neutral, even though even though they're fascists, they don't want to fight side by side with the Germans for whatever reasons, and um, they're not too happy about us uh, using their harbor as our base oh, uh, for refueling so they don't actually want anyone to know that uh, we're using their harbors so it's always best to do what we are doing at night under the cover of darkness There's the Bessel and uh, the seas are calm, great weather. So let's get close. Turn off the engines. Yeah, that's her. We can, I can barely see her. Uh, there is the flag. Okay. Let's see what we can get. Oh, we got one torpedo. How very generous. Ah, uh, okay. Well, better than nothing, uh, nothing, I guess. Let's get back out of the harbor. And, uh... Leave these neutral waters. All right, I don't. I'm not actually sure what to do with. Uh, let's start reloading. With three torpedoes in our tubes, um, I think uh, going for a convoy attack is kind of pointless because it's. Yeah, I'd rather uh, watch out for some single merchants. Uh, that we can sink with the remaining torpedoes. All right, I try to get out of the harbor and uh, I'll get back to you later. But we're running off flag. Nah, running off flag. <laughs> running off flag in uh, this harbor probably ain't the best idea. Hello, we're a German warship. Don't mind us. Amigos, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's get these flags down. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you as, uh, as soon as we have left yeah, the harbor. See you later. Ship spotted. We have a, uh, we have a contact. Um, watch cruise spot. Uh, where is she? Where is she? It's um, 21st of November 1941, 7 p.m., almost 7 o'clock p.m., and there's uh, enemy merchant. That's exactly what I wanted, single merchant. Unfortunately, we have to overtake her. Uh, but since it's night time, we don't have to be um, overly cautious. 
as long we keep our distance. Let's get our engines up to a head flank and overtake her. And we can also start and uh, 315 her. This time, all right, this time uh, I want a textbook attack. Since our last attack, our convoy attack was done so, had to be done so quickly and was so chaotic. This time I'll do it properly. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I missed. I uh, wrong click. Now I do it properly. Okay. Where is she? Let's. Yeah, we got good visibility. She's uh, 16 kilometers away. Um, yeah, you might call this vampire vision. It is a known issue of Silent Hunter 3, the so-called vampire night vision vision which means we are able to spot a in good visibility to spot an enemy contact um, from 16 kilometers which is probably not too realistic but uh, I did not activate uh, the um, night visibility fix of the hard code fix the h c i don't know how to pronounce it in english uh, the uh, you know the hard code fix and um i did not activate the night vision fix for a very particular reason because um that fix at least when i used it in uh, gray wolves it eliminated uh, the possibility of uh, surface, surface attacks at night. So it creates a layer of fog and it makes um, spotting uh, vessels at night harder. Uh, you'll spot them only from a few kilometers away as it probably should be. I've never been uh, at sea at night so I don't know. But it also changes the enemy uh, uh, AI vision, so they also spot you from a few kilometers away, at least that's what's happened to me uh, in Grey Wolves. And since U-boats should be virtually invisible at night, because uh, we know from the memoirs of Otto Kretschmer, for instance, that he and other U-boat commanders, they constantly uh, perform surface attacks at night. And uh, at least in pre-radar times, the enemy was unable to spot them, no matter how close they were. They were like uh, running around inside convoys like crazy and shooting uh, at, uh, at enemy vessels. And the escorts were also running around like crazy, but they were unable to detect the U-boats because um, of that very slim silhouette. Apparently, they were nearly; it was nearly impossible to spot them at night, even at uh, somewhat clear nights, and even with star shells. So, yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah, that's why I did not activate the night vision fix because it eliminates that possibility of surface surface attacks at night. Just in case you're wondering. Now, where is our contact? We are nearly at uh, 
Okay. Let's uh, see what we got here. She's going at... Seven knots. Seven knots, that's okay. And her course is... Zero. Yeah, she's going straight up north. Good. Okay, let's uh, plot her course. Zero, zero, zero. These uh, plotting tools are so much better than uh, those of the other GUI I had to ha I had or I used to have. Okay, how far away is that from our course? Yeah. Oh. All right, let's get closer. All right, we are uh, getting close to our attack position. We are. Uh, We'll be attacking her from a, a near perfect 90 degree angle. And uh, she's still a few kilometers away. And there will be a bit of waiting. But let's get down to slow. Conditions are perfect, the night is clear, the seas are calm, and uh, let's get her. Okay, there she is. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Getting the Uzo. Could this be it? Almost looks like it, doesn't it? I'll assume it's a large cargo. And uh, mass time 22.5 meters. So hard to see. Let's say forty two point three kilometers. It's probably not correct. Ah, oh, seven knots is what we had found out. Um, This, I'll change the uh, range later anyway. Uh, okay. No. Angle on bow. Then the angle on bow will be uh, 30 degrees to starboard. when we're at 300. So should I fire two torp torpedoes at her? It's hard to say. What is your draft, by the way? 5.8 meters. <laughs> I hope it's the correct ship. Um, so... Five point eight, 
set the tube one at seven. Man magnetic pistol, of course. Fast. This one at four meter. Use this uh, as an impact uh, torpedo. Fast. Okay. Now we have to wait. Say 1.4. That's will be the range when we uh, shoot the torpedo. Open tube one. Wait a little more. Triangle should be at 355, something like that. Yeah, that looks about right. Oh, this is so exciting. All right. No, ah, God damn it. Two, one. Oh, Los. Los. Torpedos abgefeuert. Oh, two. Oh, zwei. Los. Los. Torpedos abgefeuert. And now we wait. Looking good. Yeah, looking good. Or oh, did we. Did I overestimate range? No, this looks good. Ah! Speed setting was maybe not correctly, or the angle on bow, I don't know. We missed! God damn it, I missed! This one apparently went under. This one missed. She was going a little slower, or the angle on bow wasn't correct, I should have double checked. Oh no, th that's a major disappointment. Oh come on. Ah, uh, well, there's only one thing we can do now. Finish her off with the deck gun. So, get to battle stations. And let's hope she, that she doesn't shoot back. Why did we miss? This is so annoying. Speed incorrect, probably. Okay. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Now, let's take her down. Oh, she's armed. She's armed. She's armed.
Okay, I shouldn't be... Uh... I want to take out her gun. God damn it! She's gonna hit us! I need to take out her gun. Now I'm in this position again. Come on, we're so close to... I almost have her. Come on. Oh, that was close. That was close. All right. She's already listing a bit, so... Um Torpedo missed ya, thanks, I noticed. She stopped shooting at me. Did I take her to a gun? Apparently. Too close, I can't get waterline hits. Well, that's those are the ones I need. Now that was a waterline hit. Thank you. 
Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs. 3, 1, 1. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Auf Wasserlinie zielen. Feuer auf diese Position. Verstanden. Ich versuche, einen besseren Winkel zu bekommen. Okay, that was <laughs> that was a miss. Here used to be the gun crew. Oh, she looked like she was listening. Alright, enemy unit destroyed. Um, good work, guys. Good job. Um, so yeah, after I completely botched uh, this torpedo attack, despite the ideal conditions, oh, that bothers me. I have to say that this bothers me like a lot. Still don't know what I did wrong. Something wrong with the speed, I suppose. Or angle on bow. Should have double checked it. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, maybe she uh, changed speed between me 315ing her and the attack. I don't know. Whatever. We got her with the deck gun. That's a pretty sight. Look at the uh, moonlight. Um. Now, oh, there it is. The burning... Right yeah, that yeah. was uh, a bit of work we had to do. But we got it. What is... Uh, yeah. I had identified her correctly. Large cargo, 8,000 tons. Okay. Uh, watch crew. Um... We don't need the deck gun anymore. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Seewache auf Brücke. Gefechtsstation aufheben. And neither Flag do sichern. we need to eat so. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Flak festgemacht. Deckgeschütz sichern. Geschütz ist festgemacht. Gut gemacht, Männer. War verdammt gute Arbeit. Ruhe euch aus, Jungs. Haben Sie eine Zigarette für mich, Herr Feldwebel? Hat jemand Feuer? All right, um, I think this uh, is it. We got one torpedo left, the aft torpedo, and um, I don't like using the aft torpedo. So, um, Yeah, I think we go a, a little more up north to the to the, like this spot southwest of the coast of Ireland. Maybe another single merchant will cross our way that we can sink. How much fuel do we have left? Yeah, we are oh, still got a plenty of fuel left. So actually, no, we can't go back to Sangnase yet. We shall continue our patrol and. Um, 
as soon as something interesting happens, I'll get back to you. Alright, it's the uh, 25th of November 1941. We're uh, southwest of the coast of Ireland. Uh, plotted a little zigzaggy search pattern here. Can Still got plenty of fuel, but only one torpedo. So let's hope for a uh, single contact. These uh, have proven to be good hunting grounds here. Uh, let's hope that we will run into a single merchant. Uh, all right. So what's really depressing is uh, I'm getting, or oh, we're getting quite a few contact reports all the time of large convoys. There's one. Uh, Nearby, only um, 55 kilometers away, but we are virtually unarmed. There's only one torpedo left. There's no point in attacking a convoy with only one torpedo. That's not worth the effort. And um, besides, I mean, it's real. The weather has deteriorated again. It's uh, foggy and rainy and dark and yeah, we cannot attack. It's just that uh, there's no point in that. We have to watch out for our single contact, the single merchants. There's no way around it. I'm so sorry. It really bothers me. But what are you gonna do? It's just... We are not in the condition to shoot. Or yeah, we are, but only once. <laughs> God. So, um, let's continue our search. All right, ship spotted, single merchant. Finally. Schiff gesichtet, Lage 7-3, große Entfernung. 7-3, oh, she's visibility is good, so she's probably pretty far out. Somewhere there, I don't know. Let's look at the map. All right, she's coming right out uh, towards us. That's good. Makes the attack easier. Um, so, yeah, I get one more chance to perform a textbook attack. <laughs> but this time, yeah, this time it'll work. Let's uh, 315 her. Hope it'll work better than the last time. Like that. Three minutes. Oh no, we are at four minutes, of course. Ha! Huh. No wonder we uh, overestimated the target speed the last time. And that wasn't very precise. Um, let's see. Seven knots. <laughs> Hope, hopefully this time it's actually seven knots and not six or something. Okay. Um, Let's get down to What a beautiful moon. All right, now she's close enough. Look at if get the Uzo out. There she is. Now that looks more like a small freighter. This looks like it. Draft 8 meters. Let's 
set our torpedo to at 50 torpedo speed, seven knots is okay. Her angle on bow is um, nearly 30 degrees or 28 degrees to port. Okay, so uh, now we got her speed, angle on bow, I hope this is correct. Torpedo death. Um, yeah, this should be her, oh, I'm not sure. And seven knots. Uh, get a range later. Mm -hmm. Range. I try it again with my sheet, although I'm not sure if this works with you. So, um, like what? 60, 23 meter mass, 60. No, that's about correct. One and a half kilometers away. Um, God. This has to work. Otherwise, I'll be very upset. <laughs> 28th of November, 1941. Half past midnight. Open tube five. Just wait a little longer. Any second now. I want to hit her here. Oh man, I hope this works. Magnetic pistol. Know what I said? Was nine. And tube five. Los. Los. Torpedos abgefeuert. She's apparently unarmed, so I can finish her off with the deck on in case this one misses again. Come on. Come on. 
Just look, we're looking good. Torpedo Treffer. Yes. It wasn't exactly where we aimed, but uh, it was a critical hit. We got a critical hit. Enemy unit destroyed. That's. Uh, Die Leute sind von Bord. Ah, yeah. Great, and that was, yes, a uh, small freighter. One and a half thousand tons. Okay, now it's time. We are completely out of torpedoes. It is definitely time to head home. All right, we spotted the ship. Uh, unfortunately for us, I was hoping for a easy journey home, but we spotted two destroyers or two warships. And um, obviously I will not try to attack them. Luckily for us, it's night time, so hopefully they don't see us. Maybe they got the distress call from this uh, ship we just sunk, and now they are searching for us. So, um, let's get the hell away from them. A head flank. All right, I think we lost them. Get back to a head standard, and the, now um, let's get back home. And hopefully, those were the last destroyers we saw, because like I'm not in the mood for another uh, death charge attack or something like that. <laughs> All right, All more right. warship contacts. This area appears to be somewhat dangerous. Where are they? Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Ah, 11 kilometers away. There they are. Three of them. They are hunting U-boats in groups. Um, yeah, still night time, 4 a.m. local time, so I think we're good, I think we're getting away. Alright, it's the um, 29th of November 1941, 10 to 1 a.m. We've made it out of the heavily guarded uh, zone northwest of the, uh, the coast of Ireland and we are heading back to Zongnazir and we got another contact report <laughs> uh, large convoy in southeast slow would be usually would be an ideal target but uh, not today I'm afraid oh let's get our Uzo back and <laughs> uh, not today it's just we're out of ammunition and we're heading home and we're home at last we're in Song Nazir the Sun is setting 
It's the 1st of December 1941. We made it. We made it back from our patrol. It was a very, very successful patrol. Oh, time to raise the flags. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Flags. There they are. Okay, that was one successful first patrol. Let's see whether we get awarded a medal. Being home on December the 1st also means since uh, our next patrol won't start until a month from now. So that means our men, our crew, they're lucky because uh, they'll be home for Christmas. They will can uh, they can spend Christmas with their families, their wives, their girlfriends, whatever, their children, and um, even New Year's Eve. Lucky them. Um, so let's get, I want to get the pennants out, but I can do that only, it doesn't always work. Slow down. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Kleine Fahrt voraus. The band is playing. And uh, yeah, we I think we can go for all star. Let's try if these pennants work. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. All stop. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Alle Maschinen stop. Alle Maschinen stop. Yes, yes, it works. Look at this. Look at this. The penance of victory. All right. Let's end our patrol and dock in Song Nazir. Um, our tonnage, 41,674. We got awarded a uh, Iron Cross second class. We've been promoted to Kapitän Leutnant, uh, which is, I don't know, Lieutenant Commander, Commander, something like that. I don't know the uh, equivalent to, of the, uh, British or American Navy. I think the, the American equivalent is um, Lieutenant Commander. Um, anyway, eight ships sunk, 41,000 tons. Our renown should be the exact same as the tonnage. It isn't, um, and I'm not quite sure why. Maybe because I turned off fatigue or I don't know. But 40,000 is good enough. And um, all right. That's a good way to end the third episode of my Let's Play. I'm Leviathan89, and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.